A Laredo win wins second place in the World Championship International Powerlifting Meet, all while suffering from an illness affecting the nervous system. It was a long road, and Orlando Garza tells us his story. This is Jerry Alanis. He's getting ready to squat 440 pounds at his first attempt at the International Powerlifting Federation's Junior World Championships. He may not look it, but at the time, Jerry says his body wasn't feeling the way it should. Really, I didn't know. I just felt numbness. I felt nauseous. I felt dizzy and really weak, lethargic. And um, I mean, I, I was scared, but I didn't tell anybody because I didn't want to go to the hospital and like uh, had to be there and I couldn't compete. Since Alanis was a freshman in high school, he fell in love with the sport. Now with an opportunity to take his talents further, he raised funds with plate sales and sponsorships to make it to Colleen, Texas for the championship. I've been training this for like a long time and I didn't show up, I didn't raise all the money, I didn't, um, I'm not going to let people down. Now competing against 15 other individuals in the 130 pound weight division from around the world, he's having trouble feeling the weight on his shoulders and isn't getting sensation in his limbs something that's shrugged off as pregame jitters. He, okay, my coach is like kind of like a hardcore part of this, so he's like, nah, you're just nervous, you're just nervous. Like, you know, it's your nerves getting you, and I'm just like, man, like, I don't feel good. Like, the warm-ups were really, really bad. I, thought, I just thought it was nerves before the meet, but as we went into the deadlift, and, and, uh, the last lift of the meet, he did look kind of uh, shaky and not as strong as he usually looks. Alanis manages to pull out a second place finish, about 22 pounds from first place. Just thinking about my family, like, uh, they're the ones that support me and uh, my friends, especially, like, they put on, you know, Facebook and Instagram, whatever, like, you, you, you know, you better get it, you know, you can do this, you, you've been working your butt off and, I mean, that's what got me through, like, I would read that, when I would feel sick, I would read those and I'm just like, you know what, like, I'm gonna do it, like, I'm, I can do this. After the meet, Alanis was taken to the emergency room where he was given a spinal tap. Doctors figured out he had Gillian Barr syndrome, a disorder triggered by an infection affecting the nervous system. It can be life threatening, but was treated in time. Uh, and honestly, if I was 100%, I would have, you know, won it, but there's always next year. Alanis hopes to bounce back for the next year's competition in Hungary. For KJNS News, I'm Orlando Arsenal.